Hello, my name is Arabella Bishop. I'm Senior Director and Head of Sotheby's Ireland and Northern Ireland. What has been my career journey so far? I graduated Trinity College Dublin with a degree in History of Art and Classical Civilization. But at that time, I didn't know if I really wanted to go into the academia side of the art market or more commercial. Luckily, Bonhams in London, an auction house, offered me an interview for a two-week trial as a porter. Thankfully, this resulted in a job. Portering involved setting up the sales, holding up the artworks during an auction, so really hands-on experience. Six months after being a general porter, I became the dedicated picture porter, where I was responsible for all the painting sales coming up at Bonhams. Six months after that, I became a picture cataloger for the 19th century English and Continental Department. We had sales of about 100 to 150 pictures a week, so it was really good experience on cataloging works of art and paintings. Uh, after that, I went on also to do 20th century Russian art. Two to three years into this, I also became an auctioneer for Bonhams. Seven years later, Sotheby's approached me and asked me if I'd be interested in coming back to Ireland to operate, to run their operations in Ireland. And 23 years later, I'm still here. Well, I guess the main thing is I have to generate business for Sotheby's, which involves sourcing property. And by property, I mean art and antiques, for sale either through auction or privately or our buyers. It's helping buyers when they want to purchase through any of these platforms. Really, I act as a conduit between our international specialists. We have 44 departments in Sotheby's and really look after our clients here locally. I manage our team day to day, making sure that the whole client experience is seamless. And I see myself really as an ambassador for Sotheby's in Ireland. Um, a lot of people only deal with our office here in Dublin, so it's really important we offer a very professional service. Probably not, actually, as there's no typical day. A telephone call or a client dropping into the office can change the direction of the day very easily. But I guess in an average week, I will be involved on in going out on the road, visiting clients throughout Ireland to look at collections, and ultimately provide valuations for sale or for insurance purposes or for probate purposes. We get a lot of email queries for valuation, so it's dealing with those. And it's making clients aware of what's coming up at Sotheby's. We have over 600 auctions a year and we have nine sale rooms worldwide. I intend a lot of auctions myself in person. I'm very involved in the Irish art sales and we have two a year, one in London and one in Paris. So it's really important to be on the ground there for when clients come in to view the sales that you're there to help answer any questions they may have about the whole bidding process. It's letting our Irish press know if there's anything of particular Irish interest coming up in any of the auctions. And of course, it's a lot of Zoom calls across our network. We operate in 40 countries. Um, I attend a lot of out of hours uh, events, such as exhibitions, book launches, art fairs. So it's really important to keep abreast of the current art market. So in a typical day, I'd say you need to be multitasking and be very reactive. I guess challenging, like many people recently, was COVID. We very much transitioned from an in-person industry with, to going to auctions online. As a company, we adapted, I think, very quickly and seamlessly. Clients now are very confident to bid online. I would say of the 600 auctions we have a year, over 80% now are online. Rewarding part of my job, I guess, is a happy client. My job is very much about client relationships and being professional and trusted and getting, quite frankly, the job done. A lot of relationships I have built up over 20, 23 years. And when clients come back, to buy or sell something again, repeat business, it always means you've done your job well the first time. It's exciting sometimes when you make a new discovery. Recently, we went into a client's house and we found a picture by an artist called Zhao Wu Qi. We then went on to sell this in Paris for 1.8 million euros. I think the client was very surprised. The main thing is there are many areas in the art world. There's auction houses, there are commercial galleries, 
the institutional galleries, there's academia. So I would say try and get work experience in as many of the different areas as possible before deciding which one you want to go into. If it is auction houses, a lot of the international auction houses offer graduate training programs, work experience. So it gives you an opportunity to work in different areas of the business. It's not just about the specialist departments. We have a finance department, Sotheby's Financial Services. We sell cars, handbags. We have a marketing department, press, an event department, a legal department. There are many arms to the business. So I would say get your foot in the door and try and work in as many areas as possible. I'd also say if it is auction houses you're interested in, most international auction houses have two to three uh, auctions a week. It's free to go in and view. And most of the time it is museum quality works on display before they disappear into private hands. Go to art galleries, become aware of the art scene around you. There's nothing like hands-on experience though. Read, look and learn. Personally, I love my job. Following my passion from an early age, I hope by listening to this, I encourage you to enter into this world as well.